Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm good, thank you. How was school? Mm. Good. Good, okay. And what happened this week? Did anything new happen? Did anything change? Mm. Nah. nah, I couldn't. I uh, play most of the day. Okay, you played most of the day. So <clears throat> you didn't get any homework? Yeah, I finished the test a few months ago. Okay, good. Okay, let's see what we are doing today. Okay, so remember we were learning about um, like a fundraising event. So something you do to raise money for something. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so here, this one here, we... Okay, we're going to listen to Peter doing the task. How many different reasons does he give for preferring this first method? Okay, so Peter's question was, you are raising money to buy sports equipment for your school. Look at the photos. Which fundraising method will you choose and why? Why are you rejecting the other options? <clears throat> okay, so that was the question that Peter was asked. So let's listen. Lesson 8F, Exercises 3 and 4. Hmm, let me see. I'd choose the first method of raising money, the sponsored run. The main reason for this is that I think a sponsored run would raise more money, because every runner would ask all their friends and family members to sponsor them. I mean... You can see in the photo that lots of people are taking part in the sponsored run at the same time. And there are lots of people watching too. That's good, because it means lots of people know about the event. There is also the fact that there's a connection between the event and the reason for the event. What I mean is, you're raising money for sports equipment by doing a sports event. Athletics. I'm rejecting the second option because it would only involve a few people and probably wouldn't raise very much money. As you can see in the photo, the bear is waving at the passers-by, but nobody is looking. Okay, so he was looking at these two photos here. <clears throat> so which photo did he choose? Which fundraising event did he choose? Mm, number one. Good. Okay, so why did he choose number one? What what explanation did he give us? Mm. Yes, uh, the explanation is uh, first that uh, the boy said that you are raising money to for school to buy uh, sport equipment. Okay, yes. So because they want to buy sports equipment, that's not an answer as to why he chose that. So you can elaborate a bit more. You can say a bit more. You can say <clears throat> because they want to buy sports equipment, it would be better to have a sport fundraising event. Because that's what they're going to use the money for. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, good. So let's see what they give us. So Peter gives us four reasons. It would raise more money. Lots of people will take part. Lots of people will know about it. And there's a connection between the events and the aim. So number four, what that means is, like I said to you, because their aim is to raise money for the sports equipment it connects with having a sport type of fundraiser 
<laughs> okay. So now, if you had to do a fundraiser for your school to raise money for, let's just say, computers. So you, your school wants to do up their computer room with some new computers. How would you, or what fundraising event would you um, come up with? What would you make? Mm -hmm. Can you just say it again? Okay. So let's pretend that your school wants to buy new computers. Um, What fundraising event would you choose? What would you, you do to raise money for new computers for your school? Uh, for the... Or the run. Okay, a run. Can you not think of anything else? Something that maybe connects to computers? Mm. I don't know. Okay. So sometimes, sometimes schools will have like a writing competition where you have to write a story and the best story wins. So maybe you can get people to enter a competition, like a writing competition. Then they can use the school's computers that they have and write their story. Then all the money from all the writers will go towards the new computers. That way there's a connection between the event and the aim of your event. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, good. So if you wanted to, for example, um, raise money for a drama club, do you know what a drama club is? Do you know what a drama club is? Mm -hmm. yes okay so maybe they want to raise money for a drama club so maybe they will have a play and everybody that buys tickets the money for the tickets will go to the drama club so you must always think of the connection between what you want to raise the money for you understand yes okay good Okay, so listen again and tick the phrases that Peter uses, one from each group A to D. Okay, so we're going to listen again. And if Peter, you must choose, if Peter says, I'd much rather, I'd prefer to, I think blank would be better, or I'd choose. And then B, rejecting options, does he say, I don't think blank would be as good, I wouldn't choose, I'm rejecting blank because blank. Then C, giving reasons. This is because blank. The main reason for this is that blank. Adding extra reasons. What's more? Blank. There's also the fact that blank. So we have to choose which of those um, sentences does he use. Lesson 8F. Exercises 3 and 4. Hmm. Let me see. I'd choose the first method of raising money, the sponsored run. The main reason for this is that I think a sponsored run would raise more money because every runner would ask all their friends and family members to sponsor them. I mean, you can see in the photo that lots of people are taking part in the sponsored run at the same time and there are lots of people watching too. That's good, because it means lots of people know about the event. Okay, so we've already heard the answer for A. What do you think the answer is? Uh, I prefer. 
it, I choose. Okay, so I heard I'd choose. Okay, so let's listen to the rest of it. There is also the fact that there's a connection between the event and the reason for the event. What I mean is, you're raising money for sports equipment by doing a sports event, athletics. I'm rejecting the second option because it would only involve a few people and probably wouldn't raise very much money. Okay, what do you think the answer for B was? No, I'm rejecting because... Okay. We'll check our answers in a moment. As you can see in the photo, the bear is waving at the passers-by, but nobody is looking. Mm. Yes, okay. Because... Okay, so they see this is because. Okay, let's just see what that one. Okay, so the main reason for this is that. Oh, it it's weird because they talk about this, then we had to answer this. So it's not this is because, it's the main reason for this is that. Then there's also the fact that, and then it's I'm rejecting because. Okay. So they didn't do it in order. It went A, C, D, then B. <clears throat> okay. So to justify, do you know what the word justify means? No. Okay, so to justify means to make your point. So, for example, if you want to do the the athletics, the picture one, for a sports event to raise money for sports equipment, you need to justify your answer. You need to tell us why you want to do it this way. So, um, to justify your choice during a conversation about an, the illustration, use the phrase would plus the verb it would be more fun it would raise more money there would be more people you understand yes okay it would not be difficult to organize i'd definitely take part the verb could means <clears throat> the same as would be able to they could ask their families to sponsor them so this is how we justify our answers. Because you must remember, if the race hasn't happened yet, you can't say there will be lots of people because you are not certain. You are not sure that there are going to be lots of people. You are thinking there's going to be lots of people. So you cannot use words where you say there will be there won't be because you don't know that yet. Things change. You understand? Yes. Okay, good. <clears throat> so read the exam strategy. Write sentences about the fundraising methods in exercise two using wood and the prompts below. <clears throat> only need a few volunteers. So the second method would only need a few volunteers. Okay, number two, be good for everybody's health. How do you, how do we make a sentence out of that? Mm, I don't know. Okay, so be good for everybody's health. So let's think of that. So first of all, <clears throat> we're going to choose the picture. So standing in a teddy bear suit, waving at people, isn't good for your health. Or well, not bad for your health, but it's not like exercise. You're not running, you're not being fit, you're not being healthy. So to be good for everybody's health, we are looking at picture one. 
So you can say the first method would be, because we have to use the word would, be good for everybody's health. Okay, do you understand? Yes. Okay, number three, be easy to organize. How would we make a sentence with be easy to organize? <coughs> For matters, it would be easy to organize. Good. It might be the first, it might be the second, but I'm not too worried about that. I'm worried about the rest of your sentence. So the first method would be easy to organize. Sorry, we spell it with a, oh, it is an S. Okay. Number four, need a lot of space. Mm -hmm. uh, so the first method is a uh, it's a uh, it's uh, that you need work We'll need a lot of space. Okay. <clears throat> but we're going to use the word would instead of will. <clears throat> so the first method would need a lot of space. Okay. Number five. Make young children happy. What makes young children happy? The first method. Don't think it's the first method. Children don't like running races. Children like things in teddy bear or people in teddy bear suits. So you can say the second method. But like I said, I'm not too worried about the beginning. You can say first or second. But I think the teddy bears waving would make children happier than having to run in a race. Okay, so the second method. Mm -hmm. The second method is that you will make you will make that a uh, that you will make the ch the children happy. Okay, you're making it a little bit too long, but it's not really wrong. So you, the second method would make young children happy. It doesn't need to be long. It doesn't need to be complicated, short, and simple. Okay, be embarrassing. The second matter that you will you no don't need to be embarrassed. Okay, we don't need to change the sentence, so we're not changing the word to embarrass. So the second method, and remember, we can also use the word might or could. So could 
<clears throat> means that it may or may not. So the person, depending on the person, some people might be embarrassed to walk around like a teddy bear. Other people may not be embarrassed. So we can say the second method could be embarrassing. Okay, do you understand? Yes. Okay, so let's see the answers. The first method would be good for everybody's health. Yes. The second method would be easy to organize. Okay, but like I said, I'm not worried about the method so much. Um, a sponsored run would need a lot of space. Okay, we said the first method, so that's fine. Dressing up as animals would make young children happy. Dressing up as animals would be embarrassing. But like we, we can also use the word could. So as long as your sentences are similar to these, then I am happy. Because there is always more than one way to answer a question. Okay. So I don't know if your country does this, but my country does this. Picture two. Do you know what's happening here? Uh, the, I think boys or girls are putting all of the hair. Good. We call it shaving. So they are shaving their head. So um, in our country, this happens a lot. When um, places are trying to raise money for cancer research, do you know what cancer is? Yes. Okay. So when companies are trying to raise money for cancer research, they will host, um, we call it a shave-a-thon. So you'll go there, you'll pay money, they'll shave your head, or they will use like hair spray paint and they will paint your hair funky colors like purple, red, green, blue, pink. Um, and all that money that you've paid them will go towards cancer research. And then number one, what do you think they're doing in number one? Are you there? Yes. <clears throat> okay, so what is on the table? What are they what are they doing? Yeah. Giving food for people. Okay, they're probably selling food because remember it's a fundraiser. So if you give food, you're not gonna get any money for the 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 for whatever you want to raise money for. <clears throat> okay, so now you are going to tell me which picture you will choose. Okay, so you are raising money to help victims of a flood. Look at the photos below. Which method will you choose and why? Why are you rejecting the other option? Okay, so just um, a quick thing before we start this. The reason the Cancer Association shaves people's heads is because with cancer, if you go for the treatment for cancer, you lose your hair. Do you know that? Yes. Okay. So they shave people's heads and a bald head is like saying, you know, we stand with you. We respect you. We want you to fight. We understand or not understand what you're going through, but, you know, we are fighting with you. We have shaved our heads to show that we stand with you. <coughs> so, now if you think of victims of a flood, what do they have? What don't they have? What do they need? What don't they need? So, let's think of those first. So, let's create a spider diagram. I'll show you, but let's put our options down. Okay. Okay. So we're going to put our bubble, our main topic.
Okay, we're just going to say flood. <laughs> okay. So, our first arrow. Which picture do you think would be the best way to raise funds for flood victims? Uh, the first one. Okay. So then we'll put here, I'm going to have to make my writing smaller just so that we can fit all of it in. Um, picture one, that is called a bake sale. Um, okay, so what they are doing, they either baked like cupcakes or cakes and they are selling them for money. So let's say the bake sale. Okay, why do you think the bake sale? Hmm. Can you think of any options or can you think of why you chose the bake sale instead of shaving your head? Oh, because, uh, it can uh, give food for the people that are flood away all the money, all the, the money. Okay, so you can say, to put it in a better sentence, because whatever food is left can be given to the people along with the money. Okay, so obviously flood victims are not going to have food because they, you know, unfortunately they were part of a flood. So whatever they don't sell in the bake sale, they can also give to the flood victim. So that's a very good answer. Okay, can you give me another reason why a bake sale would be a better option? I need about three reasons why you <clears throat> choose the bake sale. Well, first, the bake sale can uh, make people that flood is uh, have food to... Uh... Okay, but that's what we wrote over here. Because what we mean by whatever food is left, it means you are giving the people food. You're not selling the people food, you're giving the people food. But you first have to sell the food to make the money. So whatever's left, whatever you don't sell, you can give to the flood victims. You understand? Yes. Okay. So what is another option why you think the bake sale? Mm. Uh, the bake sale. Okay. Think about what people like. Do you like things like biscuits, cakes, anything nice and sweet? Mm, a few. Okay. Do you like shaving your head? No. There we go. So, more people would buy from the... Bake sale um, because not many people, we can say, especially girls, would want to shave their heads. <clears throat> Does that make sense? Do you understand what I wrote? Yes. Okay, is is that what you were thinking? Okay. 
Okay, let's think of one more. Can you think of one more option? So let's think about what they said in the part in the, the previous slide. So they spoke about um how easy it is to do. So we can also put those points in because we're not just talking about picture A, we've chosen picture A, but you must also show comparisons. So we can say, for example, picture or method two would be easier to set up. All you need is a pair of clippers. These over here, those are called clippers or like a shaving machine. Um, you would just need clippers and a bib. This is a bib. With the bake sale, you would need flour, eggs, all your ingredients, and you would still need to make it, which is more time consuming. You understanding? Yes. Okay. So I want you to try and give me a sentence with what I just told you. Mm, well, the option one is a uh, it, it's a harder but funnier to uh, set up. Okay. Okay, so we're not going to say funnier. Funnier is like a comedy movie or a clown. They are funny. It makes you laugh. But we can use the word fun. But then we're going to say it's harder but more fun to set up. Um, option two would be the easier option in this case. Okay. So let's think of a reason why you don't want to choose number two. So besides what we wrote here and said not everybody wants to shave their head, what other option can you think of for number two? Why you don't want to choose number two? Mm -hmm. is a uh, it's a boring and uh, mostly and mostly is uh, doesn't help help okay it is boring and mostly doesn't help okay good so let's think Uh, I had one. I just forgot about it. Give me a second. Uh, okay. Think about the last time you went and cut your hair or shaved your head. Um. Did it take a long time for them to clean up, to get all that small hair off of you, to get all that small hair off of the floor? Think about the cleanup. Yeah, I yeah, think that. That is a, need a lot of time. Time uh, to time to make. 
uh, not so much to make because you're not making hair and you're not making the machine. You are shaving head or you are cleaning. So I think that option two would need a lot of time in between. Sorry, I spelled in between wrong. To clean up. Okay. So are you happy with our options? Are you happy with our, we call this a spider diagram. Mm. Yes, I'm happy. Well. Okay, good. So quickly before you run out of time for this lesson, let's make our sentences. So how will you, now we need to put this into a story. So how are we going to put this into a story? Hold on. I'm actually going to take a screenshot of this so that, oops. Why is it not working for me now? Because, ah, it's not coming up. Okay, no, it's fine. Let's, <laughs> let's try and write your sentences quickly. And then I'll just take a picture of this so that I can draw it just now if necessary. Okay. So how are we going to start your, your sentences? Are you there? Yes. Okay, how are we going to start the sentence? Oh, with the capital letter. <laughs> yes, good. But we're going to choose our picture first. Um, okay, we're not actually going to have time. So let's do this quickly. Let us end the lesson um, and then come back for your last six minutes because I'm ending it a little bit early and then we will write your story. Okay. Mm -hmm. See you now.